If you're a realtor struggling with what to record on YouTube or how to stand out in your local market with other realtors recording the same type of video, then this video is for you today. We're gonna to go over three main categories of video content that you can be recording and how to stand out in your local market so you can attract your target audience and get a better quality of lead. Because remember, it's not about the number of views, it's about who's viewing your video. And so we're gonna show you how to stand out in your local market market so you can get more subscribers, more leads, which all result in more deals. So if you want to see how to take your YouTube channel to the next level, keep watching. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 15 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you wanna get access to my resources, training, courses and coaching for free at no extra cost or split to you. Take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And there's a link below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more and see what that looks like. So let's dive into today's topic. Today we're diving into YouTube and what videos to record. I've showed you in previous videos how to take your YouTube videos and clip those into clips for your short form video content. But I also wanna give you some great videos to record so you can clip those up as well. And I also wanna show you how to stand out in your local market. A lot of times when we get new agents in our group that work with me, they're gonna ask me, you know, I don't know what to record. You know, I, I have a hard time remembering things. And that's why it was so important for me to release all these AI video editors, especially that fix AI content. So you can record YouTube videos with ease and actually be able to stick out in your local market. One of the things is, you know, coming up with topics is easy, but the problem is sometimes a lot of people are doing the same thing in your local market. So how do you stand out? How are you different on that? And then one thing to remember is when we're posting, especially to social media or platforms like YouTube, we want to kind of post about the community. That's why these living in Houston, living in Boston, living in Maine, whatever your channel is, this is why those channels stand out more. It's because people want to know more about the area. They know what to know about things to do. So kind of shift your focus and your strategy when thinking about what to record for YouTube. Don't do everything real estate. You don't have to do a thousand home tours. Everybody's doing home tours, even though they are good. But also you don't need to do a ton of real estate tips, you know, five tips on how to sell your home. Those are good to have every now and then, but focus on your local community. I recently heard even Gary V talk about this. If you're a realtor, focus on, you know, doing interviews with the school principals or doing interviews with the local mom and pop restaurant that's been there 20, 30 years or local business that's really been a pillar of the community. Do those things and support the local community because you're gonna look at the go-to resource for your area, which is what's gonna make people want to work with you. And on top of that, people might not just be searching in the moment to move, they might be wanting to look up a local area, learn more about it. So that's why really kind of community focused content is monumental for realtors and will really help you not only grow your subscribership, but get a quality audience. And on top of that, you're gonna be top of mind for when people refer out um, you know, realtor services. Because if somebody asks, you know, John Doe down the road who hasn't bought a house or sold his house in 10 years, hey, do you know a realtor? He's gonna think of one right off the top of his head that he has seen recently. So you need to be that realtor. So really focus on community-based content, providing value for that area, especially for people looking to relocate or maybe move from the downtown area out to the suburbs. Really be thinking about what your audience needs and wants and provide that content. So what I'm gonna do is go over three categories of videos that you can do to provide value to your audience that realtors are doing and how to stand out in that category. All right, first up we have home tours. And again, I know I said not to do a lot of real estate content. A lot of people do this content. We've done it for our channel. We didn't have as much luck as some other people who are getting thousands and thousands of views and really growing with that. Because again, everybody's doing it. it caught on a few years ago, especially during COVID. 
and it really took off. But that means when something's popular and working for a lot of people, it's more competition to stand out in. So some things that you could do differently with this, you know, if you don't know what a home tour is, a lot of people will go to a new construction, you know, or a builder in a community, and they will go toward the model homes or tour any like new construction listings, or sometimes people will go tour empty listings period for sale, even in the resale sector and post those to get more traffic, more views. Now, the thing is, if you go and just do this, then, you know, post the video, you don't have much content. So it's going to make it harder for you to clip this unless you just do clips of the home and then put it on YouTube. So couple of things to keep in mind if you're doing a home tour. Honestly, you can go do the home tour, but instead of just doing the home tour and letting, you know, people kind of, you know, walk through the home, putting the music to it, why don't you interview the sales agent or somebody at the builder company or a representative of the builder and kind of interview them and ask them questions about why this community, why this builder, you know, what are they doing different? Do they have any incentives at the time of recording? Really do that. And then why that person's talking, they're going to act, you can actually show kind of your B-roll footage of the actual property and you know why they're talking so you don't have to watch yourself the whole time but it gives you a little more interaction it makes it a little more personal that you know this might be the person we're working with when they choose you as a realtor that you're going to be working with that builder and it just kind of provides kind of another layer of trust because you're actually talking to the representative so that's another way to stand out too i'm not a fan of people talking throughout the entire video you could point out things here and there but i think the best thing that works is just to do an intro video in front of the property and then do kind of you know um, call to action at the end but just let people watch the property and enjoy it and you know, when I go to a tour, I don't want them asking me a thousand questions. I really want to take it in, look around and kind of, you know, do I like this? Do I not? And let people enjoy the property. Again, if there's something that you want to point out, point it out, you know, you can put it on the screen or you can say it, but those are some tips there and just make it unique and different. Add your personality in these things. Don't try to clone what another realtor is doing because that works for them, you know? So make sure that too, that people really get to connect with you because the one thing about these videos, if you're not gonna do the whole walking tour and point things out, you, you wanna start that in the beginning, but you also wanna give them the freedom to look through the property, but make sure you're front and center. Make sure people know that they need to call you, that they don't go directly to the builder. And some things that we've been toying with too is don't give the, the model floor plan anymore. We noticed that when we stop doing that, we get a little more people reaching out because a lot of people will just go straight to the builder because there's this concept, you know, that they get a better discount if they go to the builder, which is not true, but you want them to come to you. So kind of keep it like more of exclusive. Hey, if you want to learn more about this, or if you want to learn how to get even more incentives or see more builders like this and who has the best incentives in the area, then that's when they need to contact you because you have an up-to-date list of everybody. So really think about that. And you can also do kind of the neighborhood tours as well, where you're giving information, you're showing all the different builders, you're showing what the community has to offer. So really just kind of think about all of those concepts, what's gonna get people to reach out, what's unique about that area, you know, point out something else that another realtor is not pointing out. And you can go with these. I like the next two videos better. I think they obviously work a little better. Plus you don't have to go always out to the property and get all that information. You can kind of just record here like I'm recording and then put some footage over top. So definitely stick around to the end because that is going to be the best video I think that you can do. But also think about your market too with this home tours. Because if I have, you know, an agent in Toronto, they can't do model home tours. A lot of it's uh, pre-construction. So you got to think about your market and if that video Video would work for you. And if it doesn't, take it a next step and make it work for you and make it fit around your marketing plan. All right, next up, we have community highlights. This is where you can interview and really show off the local community. This is where, again, I would go, you know, interview local businesses that have been there 20, 30 years, or maybe new businesses that are popping up, but really support local. Don't really do these franchises. Now you can promote a local business that has multiple locations in that area, 
but you know, don't go promote a chain restaurant. Really help local businesses promote themselves. And this is a kind of a couple of reasons. One, they're going to promote you. They're going to be grateful and they're going to allow you to come in and talk with you. But it also helps you become that authority in the local community. So whether it's a restaurant, focusing maybe on the top three parks in the area, the top three dog friendly parks, or maybe, you know, we have some areas where there are dog friendly restaurants where you can sit outside with your dogs and they bring out treats for your animals. And so, you know, really focus on stuff like that. Really think about who your target audience is. Are they family oriented? Are they young professionals? Really go after the things that they're going to be looking for. And especially when people are relocating to the area, let them know all the fun things to do. You know, five free fun kid activities. You could, you know, go interview restaurants, uh, bakeries, and all kinds of things. There's so many things going on in your local community. And really make sure you get those business owners involved. Call ahead and let them know, hey, I really love your business. I want to feature it on my channel. I'm a realtor. I really want people to know how great our community is. And really focus on people. Focus on people that are, you know, pillars in the community, organizations, charities, anything that will really show people kind of the heart of where you live and why they should be a part of that community will stand out. Now, this does take a lot more effort, but if you're really conscious of what you're doing, a lot of us go out to eat all the time. So pick your restaurants based on where you need to record and go record, especially if you're doing short form content. This is super easy. You should be doing this all the time anyways, but really be thinking about when you're out and about you know, if you're in the coffee shop that you want to promote, you can do, you know, your short form content like this way and then go back over it and do this way or just record this way and you can clip it easier this way. And what you can do is go get all that content and save that footage, especially when we talk about the next video. But if you have all that, that footage saved in a drive somewhere, you can just do your basic, you know, top three taco spots in Houston. And I can record all the content here, but I've already got all the footage to put over, over top of me talking. So think about those things where you go out, be very, um, and have the, an intent, be very purposeful and, and, you know, get that content and have that stuff saved up. Don't go, Oh, I need to go record this video. So let me go over here and do it. No, start getting content as you're out because you'll be surprised one for social media, how much you can use that content, but also you can use this in your YouTube videos, especially when you're talking about an area. It's great to just have all of that kind of B-roll footage so you can use it throughout your video. So really focus on your community, show yourself as the authority, stand out from all these other realtors and show them things that they're not talking about. All right, so next up, the last one is city overviews or city reviews. And the great thing about this one I found is one, I didn't have time to go do all the home tours and get out there. I can capture footage as I'm out. I'm really good about that. But I needed to be able to record videos here while we're you know, dealing with a marketing company. We have our agents, we're realtors as well. So you know, I needed something that I could do, batch record, and then use all these videos and things and transitions to make the video more interesting. Plus, we found out our home tour videos were getting maybe 500 views within a month and we had the SEO, the optimization, everything correct. But the problem is just so many people were out there doing it. The moment we started doing the city reviews, like what it's like to live in Fulcher, Texas or Katy, Texas, we, within the first month, we're getting over a thousand views and the second month hitting over 2000 and they just keep growing. And on top of that, we were getting people reaching out to us, which we didn't really have much in the home tour videos. And I think why is it? Cause it gives more information just than a quick home and you get a lot of looky loos with the home tours. But with this one, I was giving information about the area. So people that live in Houston as well, were finding value, learning about another suburb and things to do. But I was also able to get all these videos out and get more content out without making an excuse, especially in the hot summers here to go and doing a bunch of home tours outside. So 
Some of the things that we covered in this video, if you want it, the actual sample script we use, the kind of where we go in and put all the data over and over again for different cities, it's the same outline of the videos. If you'd like that, just message uh, in the comments below. But what we did is we kind of showed real quick, we talked about the history of the, the area. You know, when was it founded? What's the population like? We, where the heck is it? So we show it on a map and you can do that really easy with Google Maps, it'll outline the city. You put it on over top of your video and kind of crop it and do a screenshot of that. And then on top of that, we showed the major roads coming in and out, what the average commute time is, how far away the airport was. Then we talked about what is there wow. to do in the area? You know, how many parks are there? And then dog friendly parks, what are some kid activities? What is the food scene like? You know, are there wineries, breweries, restaurants, things like that? So we quickly went through that. Then we talked about the medium home prices in the area. What's the cost of living? What's the property taxes like in that area? And we just kind of give a general overview of the area and then show kind of what how surrounding cities compared, especially for, for the average home price and what can they get for that. And then we kind of do a call to action saying, if you love this city, then reach out to us. And then if you're not sure, if you want to call this home, check out these two cities that are comparable. And so we kind of link them to other videos we've done or uh, other areas or home searches. And then we include all that information in the description as well, like home searches for those areas, how to get in contact with us, how to schedule an appointment, everything about kind of a quick overview of the city. So these are great videos that you can record easy, do some footage over the top of those videos, get people interested in the area, especially for those who are looking to relocate because you kind of just gave them a quick summary of the area and things to do. And these, once you run out of cities, you can niche down to you know different areas. Like here we have in Katy, we have Cinco Ranch. And in Houston, we have the Heights, Montrose, Midtown, Uptown, Downtown. You can really niche down the area, keep the same content. Obviously you, your numbers would change a little bit, but as far as the overall price and you know those areas, it's the same format. So you're just getting different information. So that's one thing I liked about these and why our agents like these videos, because you can take one script and literally just plug in the numbers and keep recording. It's really easy. And now with the help of the eye contact, you know, with AI, you can just read your script and not have to worry about it. So to me, this is one of the best and easiest things, especially if you're just starting out in video to do, because we also use tools like niche.com to give the report card grade of the city, what the city ranks for, what the reviews of the city are. We talked about the school district. So there's so many things that you can cover. And the best thing is this video makes a lot of great clips for your short form, especially if you're talking about the school district, you're talking about the report card grade according to niche.com, the food scene, like all those can be broken up into individual clips. So to me, this just gives you endless content. And I do have a full YouTube video that I will uh, throw up here on the screen as well, where I went over in depth how to record this. And I have a script again, you can just comment down below for that script. So go to these videos to get started. It'll help you stand out more. Plus you can put your spin and what you like, and then use some amazing footage of the area as well that you got out while you were out and about. All right, I hope you found that information helpful. I really wanna help you be able just to start recording videos and do it. Remember, done is better than perfect. It's really funny in a lot of my videos, the ones that I'm like, oh, I really should re-record that, they do the best. Uh, whether it's this channel or our real estate channel. So just as long as there's value, people will like your video. They don't want this stage salesman act. We wanna do that pool marketing. Just make sure you're connecting with your audience. You're being your authentic self and your videos will be great. So if you have any questions about what we went over, drop those down in the comments below. And then on top of that, if you wanna get my resources, training, courses and coaching like this for free and no extra cost or split to you. Take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolf Pack. And there's a link below where you can book a call to learn more, especially if you're a new agent and seasoned agent, but even more if you are a team leader or a broker yourself. We have so many resources for you if you bring your brand over here and I'd be happy to talk and book a call with you and even book you with our executives to show you what the numbers look like to have your business here at eXp Realty. So again, click that link below to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. And again, if you wanna keep seeing more content like this, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.